I love, by the way, your your um, start your intro in Spanish. If I do an intro in Spanish? Yeah, for you, even for you, because we are with uh, Latin guys. Oh, Try. pressure! Hi, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Hola, cómo estás? <laughs> We're here in Doral, my friends' YouTube channels, Nomad and Michael. Michael from Aeolus Fragrance. And Kelsey from Rev de Fragrance. <laughs> We just did two videos for their YouTube channel, smelling men's fragrances and rating them. And now we're gonna do the opposite. We're gonna be having them smell some women's designers and get their thoughts. What's sexy and what's not. We will, we will see what's sexy for you girls. Let's start with Carolina Herrera. Good girl. Have you guys smelled this before? Yes. yes. It's okay. It's okay though. I think it's gorgeous, of course. I like it. I, lo I love it on a, on a woman. It is like this kind of distinctive perfume that makes a woman stand out. In terms of compliments from men, I've yeah. gotten the most yeah. fragrance. I, I, you, you girls will receive a compliment from me, definitely using this one. I know this DNA because my mom used it. She had like a couple of versions. This one is super sexy. It's very mature smell. I like it. It's, you know, it's sweet. I think it's palatable. Like most people would like this. Most people would be able to wear this. It's very crowd pleasing. Not super special, um, but it's a sexy fragrance. Yeah, sexy date I, night. I also see like a uh, 30s girl in the, uh, wearing that, that fragrance. Not just for grown up women. Yeah. I also see like uh, 25 up. Oh, definitely. A woman yeah. using using that perfume. Yeah. What do you rate it? To me, it's an eight and a half. I stay in the same line. Yeah. Eight and a half. Right. Yes. It is one I think is for every woman. You know, they have to have that one in the collection. Okay. I'm gonna have to give it a seven. It's good, but it's not my favorite. Let's one up it. Caroline Herrera, very good girl. It's a completely different version. Yeah. It's one of the newer Ooh. flankers. This is more into the footy yeah. side. Gorgeous. It is good. Love it. I love this line. I love this line. Yeah, I'm not going to lie here. Yeah, this one is more fresh, fruity. Yeah. Carolina Herrera is very mass appealing fragrances, you know. I love it. They make easy things. I love this one. It's better than this one. The most on the other. Yes, yeah. it's better because it's more it's more uh, citrusy, fresh. This one is more for the night time. This and one is can, more versatile. You can see a, an old age girl. Yeah. On that one. That one is compared a lot with Delina. With the Delina. Has I understand. The same I understand. I understand. Has, has Seven and a half for you. I'll rate this one a nine. Nice. Yeah. I'm with you on that. I, I rate this a nine. This is yeah. one of my favorite fragrances. It's delicious lychee. It is sweet. good. It is good. It is good. I really good. love this one. Girls, you want to smell sexy? Very, very, good, very, very good, girl. good girl. Okay, so the next one that we have is the newest. Like release in the, the Yves Saint Laurent lead line. This is the Le Parfum. I was looking, trying that one. Thank you. Oh, yeah, it's darker. This is for a night date. It's good. It's good. It's really good. Floral is good. It's gorgeous. It's not overly sweet, but it has some, yeah, some sweet stuff inside. Yeah. It's the sugar mommy. Fragrance. I wasn't expecting that one. <laughs> this is super sexy. I feel like black currants, flowers, fruity notes, it's dark, you know, super sexy. You know, I, I love this one. I love Yves Saint Laurent. For men or for women, I love that brand. For me, this one is a 10. For me, this one. Nice. Nice. I'll give it a 9 to that one. I'm honestly not a big fan of the Lieb. <laughs> um, collection. Sorry guys. I don't know. I'm just not a big fan of lavender and fragrances, but I will say this one is sexier. This is definitely the best version that they created. Um, so I'd give it an 8. eight yeah. Not bad. Not at all. That's a pretty good rating. Yeah. Alright, now we'll do Ariana Grande Cloud. I was talking a little bit about this before yeah. when you saw the bottle. You have you ever yeah. smelled it before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to have it actually. Man. It's a good perfume, it's a gorgeous. I mean, price point, one of the yeah. best thing yeah. you can get in the market. This for $25 yes. with TJ Maxx, one yes. bottle. Easy to find, nice smelling, for everywhere, every time of the year. It's fresh, little bit of a dark side too. 
I will rate it high just because of the price point and what you can get. Cotton candy vibe, yeah. sweet, you know. Had the same effect, uh, Baccarat Roche. It's very close to that one. It has like an animalic touch, like a musk, you know, very... I love musk and fragrances. This one has it. It's yeah. too good. This one for me, it's an eight. It's my rate also. Eight is a, is a really good rate. Smelling this again, I used to wear this. It is super sweet, but on my skin, I almost get something beachy. So I think you have to test it really on skin to get the true test. Yeah, it's coconutty. I agree on that one. It's coconut. It, it, yeah. it has like this coconut vibe, right? You could compare it a little bit to Baccarat Rouge if you don't want to spend the money, but it's not the same. It's definitely not the same. It's a lot sweeter, but I'd give it an eight as well. That's my yeah, rate. Yeah. I like it. I eight. Do. All right, so the next one, we're only gonna do two more. Not a designer, but I just got this in the mail, so I wanted to get their opinions on it. This is the collaboration with Saharoff of the Immortals um, with Curly Scents. And I'm in love with the scent, head over heels, so I'm excited to see what you guys think okay. of this new perfume. So good, <laughs> so good, oh my God. First impressions. Talk about coconutty, right? Yeah, delicious. It has that this uh, from on the top, this coconutty like beach, like cocktail kind of mm. thing. High quality, it is gorgeous, oh, yeah. nicely done. This one I smell it in Sanks Floor because Curly oh, yeah. tell me, oh, I have it on the skin. It smells super sexy, cozy, warm, sweet, very good. Yeah, good money. Yeah, you know, coconut, good vanilla. Money, it's like a sugar cane vibe. I love this I one. I don't find it too sweet. No, it's no, it's it's, at all. it's it's a good, you know, it's a good sweet sense. No, yeah. it's no Very, overpowerful. Uh, like realistic smelling. Like it has like a woody bite, like a woody yeah. base. Yeah. yeah. Give it like a power, you know. Power. I love this. It's not like <laughs> piña colada at all, but I can feel like this yeah, coconut like, cocktail. Yeah. 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 It is gorgeous perfume. I mean, for the quality, this is a nine and a half. Gourmand lover's dream. Yeah. For me, it's a ten. Is it 10? I'm very, very it's happy. They do a good job. All right, Kelsey. What's my rating? I got to give it a 10, too. I'm a spicy gourmand lover. It's delicious. It's smooth. Very realistic. Not cloying. Not synthetic whatsoever. This is a 10 for me all day long. So make sure if you can, get your hands on one of these bottles before they're gone. Limited edition release. All right, let's do one more. I think this is going to be the most controversial of the list. This is the newest release by Kaoli. This is the Vanilla Royale Sugared Patchouli. And wow, people are just taking sides. They hate it you, or, or love you it. love it. Yep. No one is neutral on this at all. And it's really funny to see all the comments on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> I, I changed my opinion. I love this fragrance, but it does smell a little bit synthetic. Yeah. Uh, as do a lot of Kaoli fragrances. I mean, it's it's sweet. You get you really get the patchouli in the beginning. That's all I smell, vanilla patchouli. But on the skin, it's more like sweet gourmand. So it definitely changes. I'm gonna give it an eight. An eight. Yeah. Let's see your thoughts. Let's try this one. Let's see your taste. I feel it kind of woody. Mm -hmm. It is a woody perfume, definitely. Spice, some spices, and you can feel uh, the synthetic vibe of yeah. our perfume. Yeah. Yeah. I'll rate this one a six and a half. Can you show me this morning? I mean, no. <laughs> I love this one. Sweet, super feminine, woody, super rico. I love this one. It kind of has like queen vibes to it. No, like not my favorite from yeah. the list, if I may be honest. Yeah. Not my favorite. For me, it is. For you? It for is. me, it is. The other selection for me is this one. I think it's more complex, you know, it's more dynamic yeah. fragrance, you know. It's your, your predictions were right. This you your either like right. it or you don't, <laughs> yeah. I feel like uh, like liquor vibe too, like. Oh, you feel like liquor? Do you remember Kalu? It's like a coffee drink. Yeah. It smells like, like that, you know. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit, you know. I don't feel the coffee vibe, but I'm still try, totally on try, the try, try, yeah. yeah, try. I'm totally on the fence about it still. I really loved it when I first smelled it, and I do still really like it. But just sometimes when I smell it, it smells like Carmax. <laughs> Carmax. I think I can wear it. Oh. But for you? Yeah. I don't know. Oh, nice. Do you like it? Do you give it a rating? No, for me, for me, it's a ten. Is it ten? Yes, it's very nice. Five. Six point five. 
Okay. I'm gonna go with an eight. Okay, nice. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for being in my video. Of course. All of their Always. links will be in the description. They're all amazing creators, so make sure to check them out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Pleasure being here with you. Thank you guys for filming with me. Of course. And we'll see you guys next time. Adios. <laughs> <laughs> I'll Peter Zane.